Welcome back to Fortress Education, this is Ed. Today we're going to be giving another update to Atosa Therapeutics. In this one, I'm going to be talking about the latest news and then going through the board of directors, specifically the CEO and the CFO. And then from there, we're going to take a look into short interest, short floats, and then technical analysis. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. So Atosa Therapeutics, first off, I want to read off this quick PR. You can skip ahead if you don't want or if you've already seen it. Atosa Therapeutics receives regulatory approval to open clinical study at ATH201 in Australia. Nebulized formulation being developed to improve lung function in both active diseases for COVID-19 patients and long haul patients with post-infections pulmonary diseases. So this is a clinical, the company itself is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company seeking to discover and develop innovative medical uh, medicines in areas of significant and unmet medical need for oncology and infectious diseases with a current focus on breast cancers, and COVID-19. They received regulatory approval from the Human Research Ethics Committee to open a clinical study ATH201 in Australia. The nebulized formulation ATH201 is being developed as an inhalation therapy for moderately and severely ill hospitalized COVID-19 patients and for the long-haul patients with post-infections pulmonary diseases. The COVID-19 patients continues to be an urgent health crisis with many regions reporting low vaccination rates combined with new SARS-CoV-2 variants proving more infectious and more deadly, said Stephen Quay, the CEO. If the initial parts of the study are successful, we will study the efficacy of our proprietary uh, ATH201 on moderately ill COVID-19 patients who can be treated via nebulizer. Our goal is to develop the nebulized ATH201 is to improve the lung function in patients with active diseases, which may reduce the number of patients requiring ventilators and in long haul patients who have residual pulmonary function damage. Up to one third of hospitalized patients um, have preliminary functions changes 60 days or more after recovering from COVID-19. The portability nebulizes or nebulizes already routinely used for other chronic lung diseases allows for treatment at home. And they do talk about the phase 1A placebo control study will enroll a total of 60 healthy participants and moderately ill hospitalized COVID-19 patients. This study has four parts, a single ascending dose part, a multiple ascending dose part, a combination part in healthy individual and a combination of COVID-19 infectious patients that will be conducted with advanced clinical party limited. Now, moving on towards there, let's take a look into the CEO and the CFO. So the CEO, Stephen C. Quay, Steve Quay does have his own website, kind of a web page, almost portfolio, showing you patents, field of magazines, times of words, etc. And you're able to see a lot about him. Um, it's almost like a celebrity in his own field in that sense from what I'm getting, whether in breast health or coronavirus. It's almost like a one page thing on the home page and then you can go ahead and take a look a little bit further. So he works on two main things, breast tissues and coronaviruses. Um, pre pretty much what we just mentioned about the coronavirus part. And he has a lot of information relating to some of the studies that he's been involved with and as well having a survival manual for COVID-19. Now, he does also have some speaking, etc. You can get him on speakers, etc. But in general, you get to see that he is a practicing CEO. Now, on the other part, the CFO, namely Richard Steinhardt, I found a bit of an interesting pass for the CFO. So for this one here, this person has worked with a, a company called Remedy. So the CFO himself, I'm pretty sure they even mentioned it here. Um, let's double check. Yep. Um, right on here. We talk about Remedy Pharmaceutical. Uh, he was the CFO and the vice president there from October 2015 to June 2017, a pharmaceutical company. And uh, from January, 20, January 2014 until he joined Remedy Pharmaceutical, he was an independent financial consultant. So what you get to see with Remedy here. From my understanding that Remedy is basically done. So in May of 2017, BIIB acquired 
Phase 3 Ready Novel Drug Serira. The transaction was culmination of a dozen year determined efforts to address larger unmet medical need. Uh, cerebral ed edema is a large hemispheric blah blah blah. So this company itself BIIB, let's take a quick look into its stock market. Company itself, Biogen, uh, you might have heard about this one. They bought them back in around 2017, so around this level here. And it looks like Remedy is basically diluted. You go to the news, there's nothing much going on. Biogen acquired the Remedy Pharmaceuticals and then basically diluted or basically stopped updating their website and more of joined into Biogen's main website. So that's kind of the thing with Remedy, is that they got bought out. So that's actually an interesting thing from my own perspective. Now let's move on to a bit towards the short volume. You're starting to look at the short volume being closer to 30%. Now that is not bad. The short flow itself is around 14%. So the short interest itself and the short flow could, is a little bit different. The short interest is around three times more than the short flow. That's an interesting observation. Now, before moving on forward, if you would like to see more contents like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right corner and leave your notifications on for this channel. Also, don't forget to drop a like to this video. And if you would like to discuss a bit more uh, about the stock or other stocks, you can join me in my discords in the description below. Totally free. We're not trying to upsell you on anything there. Let's move on towards technical analysis. Now, from a technical analysis perspective, what we get to see here is that the 10 SMA is above the 30 MA, which is very bullish. Now, the 10 SMA and the 30 MA, in between them, there's something called a trading action zone, where most reversals do occur. And you get to see that it's currently within there. The trading action zone is between 669 and 545. The price point 50 SMA is also above the 200 SMA. Again, another bullish indicator on the moving averages. The ADX has dropped from 60 something to 4361, so it's currently retracting and it doesn't have any importance to our technical analysis today. Now, on the billion percent R, though, it's highly, highly oversold. What does that mean? It means in an equilibrium situation, you expect more buyers to come in, and with a supply equal demand equation, you will get more demand than supply, raising the stock price up higher. Now, in terms of the billion percent R, just understand it very similar to an RSI indicator, also known as a relative strength index. The MACD, it seems like it's actually gone towards an accumulation. So accumulation isn't that bad, and a reversal would be the next step. Momentum is hovering very closer towards the zero level. In terms of stochastic fast and stochastic slow, both are actually dipping downwards, telling you to be careful where the next support is. And in terms of the moving average bands, this one is expected to trade at 658 on the top, 599 in the bottom, and 539 at the bottom. Sorry, I said 599 at the bottom, I meant in the middle. Now, in terms of Fibonacci tracements, what you're seeing here is multiple levels. And the reason why I'm showing you this is high frequency traders use it. So arm yourself with that. The current support is at 531, below there, 425, below there, 294 and below there 82 cents. The current resistances on the Fibonacci tracements is 637, 788 and 980. Now if we were to use just price line action, we're able to see a very strong support at the 511 mark. Below there 487, below there 436. Below there you're looking down to around 389, going downwards to around 339, 290 and then downwards towards around 251 and then down to 206, and then down to around 148, and down to 130. Significant resistances are around 583, going upwards to 605, going to 661, 691, and then going upwards to around 730, and 797, 852, and 980. Now, another thing we wanna take a look at here is some of the analyst recommendations. Analysts currently give this one an average price target of around 750, which is around 35% upside. Currently, it has two buy, zero hold, and zero sell. The price target's last one was initiated yesterday with a price target of around $7 by Maxim Group and given the position of buy. Now, this person has a 41% success rate, although his average returns are 33% which is one of the best I've ever seen. Now, in terms of the one before it, last month's, you're seeing a price target of around $8, 
with a position of buy from this person who has a 60% success rate with an average return of around 18%. Now, coming in towards what I think about this one, I definitely think that this one will continue going on towards volatility, a little bit towards accumulation, and then moving upwards back towards uh, perhaps another testing for that ceiling, the resistance at $7 and maybe not 80 afterwards. But really be careful of the support currently sitting towards the five bucks. That could be a very, very dangerous level. And hopefully we will see a nice recovery into this one after this longer term accumulation. What do you think about the sticker? Make sure to mention down in comments below. Share, subscribe and like and have a wonderful day. Now, if you're still here on this video, make sure to drop down below and join our discord. We have a lot of different things going on, including, for instance, members that gives picks for free. It's not pump and dumps. We just think we think about swings, etc. We also have really exciting bots. Uh, you can actually use those ones. For instance, we're just testing out this bot, for instance, that gives you Fibonacci resistance points, activities, etc. And we have a bunch of free things, totally free. We run on tips here and you can ask me questions, suggest stocks, etc. It's a really nice community that has been growing up uh, very fast at a very good rate and it's totally free. If you would like to join that one, feel free to do so in the description below and have a wonderful day.